Hello everyone, Flying High here, Electronic Fighter Pilot School and right now we're looking at the beautiful BF109 G6 from IL-2 Battle of Stalingrad I just bought the airplane uh, it's fairly new um, this is actually my favorite BF109 and we're going to test it we're gonna test it together, I've never flown it before in this game uh, I know I just got it armed with a couple of 20mm gondolas over the wing, so this is the R6 version of the 109G6, G6 slash R6. It has also a 20mm cannon in the nose and the usual couple of machine guns over, over the engine cowling, but the G6 has or, or is the first version of the 109 with 13 millimeter machine guns so that's why you see these big bubbles in front of the cockpit because those are made for housing the the bigger caliber machine guns so also this library I think is one of my favorites with the white tail uh, the red 13 it's a library from JG 27 so let's get started and I hope you guys enjoy Okay, so we're on board the BF-109 G6R6. I've just set up a quick mission so we can shoot down some IL-2s. The IL-2s to Mobic has pretty thick armor on it, so it's going to be great for trying our, our heavy armament. Okay, there's one, 12 o'clock. Let's get right behind him and start trying our camps. Accelerate to 1.3 manifold pressure, which is our combat power, our military power. You shouldn't use this setting for too long, maybe around 20 minutes or so. Watch always your temperature there, you shouldn't pass 100 degrees. And always wait to get until you get very, very close to the target when his wing tips touch the outer border of our circle here on the gun side, it's time to fire. fire. Boom, that was devastating hits on the IL-2, he's going down in flames. Always shoot at close range, pilot jump, always fire, uh, fire at close range, conserve your ammo, that's what all the real Luftwaffe aces did in real life, so that's actually what we are going to do. Okay, let's find our next target. Bring cover back to maybe 1.2 manifold pressure maybe around 75% power and keep your eyes open on the horizon for new incoming fire enemy fighters there is one, there it is right under that cloud Power again, 1.3. There he goes, out of the cloud. Right here, what I'm going to do is, I, I don't want to pull hard and just get behind him. I'm actually going to go nose up. It's going to be called a high go go. Then roll into him and actually get a lot better angle on his tail and also get some speed as I accelerate down from that high turn. So as you can see, I'm getting closer and closer. Remember to fire at super close range and fire with all the guns you got. Sting with everything you got. If you have a chance to hit, just hit with all your guns at the same time. Okay, close, 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 and... Fire, oh, he's, he's down. That was... Yep, he jumped. Soldier. 
Did you see? Only short bursts with all of that power there. Planes just go down. Boom, that's an explosion on there. Pilot jump too, that's good. Circle here, here comes the next one, number three. See how many we can get. Accelerate again, 1.3, wonderful pressure. The 109 has an automatic uh, propeller pitch control, so you don't have to worry about over revving your propeller. You have to worry about overheating the engine, but the propeller will will move by itself when you have it on, on automatic mode. I'll make a tutorial about flying the airplane uh, in some other, some other video in the near future. I'm going to make a tutorial on the 109. But right now, let's just have fun and just test this bird. The last game I flew, actually, 109G6, was IO2 Storm OV 1946, which is uh, another game that I love. And I'm just so happy to have another decent scene in which I can fly my favorite 109. I'm gonna under him a little bit, right under his belly. He's awesome, he's turning. I'm gonna pull my throttle back so I can have a little bit of more time. More time to aim, he won't be maneuvering too much because he has a heavy airplane. Close. Closer, aim for the engine. Fire. There you go, hits. Okay, if you're gonna overshoot, just chop the throttle, put your nose up, roll. Roll and you're still on his tail. That's called a vector roll maneuver. Helps a lot to stay on your enemy six when you see you're going to overshoot. And it's a perfect maneuver for the 109 because it has a beautiful climb rate. Accelerate again, get close, get close and fire. Pieces coming out. Fire again. He's got some pretty heavy damage now. He should be going down. But I'm telling you, these IL-2s are tough. I mean, they got armor. So any other plane besides that one would be going down right now. Just gonna circle around and come back on him. Just gonna drop my throttle, let him pass. Make a reverse turn, accelerate. Oh, he still wants to fight, huh? It's a great pilot, huh? Okay, when I'm going on the vertical like this, I'm gonna go full, full power web. Shouldn't use your full power for more than maybe a minute. Only on vertical uh, power clamps or when you want to escape enemies, emergencies. Throw back down. Let's get close, close, close. Sneaky fellow, this one, eh? This is coming out of the airplane. Oh, there you go, wing off. That's it. It's going down. And his shadow meets him and boom. That's number three. We still have some ammo left, so... Let's see if we can get one more. I mean, three IL-2s is pretty good. Pretty, pretty good if you if you take into consideration that uh, that it has a very heavy ar armor, like I was telling you. And here comes, here comes another one. Need to climb at around 300 kilometers per hour. Very good climb rate. The 109 actually has one of the best climb rates of all the warbirds in World War II. 
It's gonna turn hide inside the cloud. You can hide, but I'm gonna find him. I'm gonna catch him. So he actually went under the cloud. Okay, he's breaking defensive. I'm gonna let him pass a little bit. Just remember, get on his circle. Get, get behind his trail. Don't try to cross in front of him because he'll overshoot. If they turn, wait a couple of seconds and then turn so you can get in the turn with them. Get closer, remember, patience, patience, I know you want me to fight already. But patience, pace. And... Those were some heavy hits, another roll. Yeah, his left wing is toast. Again. Well, he has that such heavy damage, I can actually relax and just try and get closer. Aim for his. It was his right wing, the one that I damaged, was it? Left wing? I think it's left, I'm gonna aim for the left. Yeah. There he goes, there he goes, there he goes. Yeah. Did you see that? Death Wing gone. I love this game. The physics on this game are so awesome. Kylo jump, that's good. And there's the explosion. Four. Four IL2s on one cartridge. That's pretty good, I'll take that. Let's see if we can make it ace in the day. It's fine there. Oh no. I thought that was an airplane, but that's actually the pilot of the alley to be just shut down. Let's go over there and salute him. Good fight, sir. Not really good fight, but good fun. <laughs> Always doing a circle like this, keeping my eyes on the horizon. See if I can find something else. Find another IL-2. We can actually test our guns and make the boat or train. Maybe a small combo. If I'm seeing smoke right there to the left. I think I see a train. Oh, there it is. Let's go for number five. Let's try and make it ace in a day.
back to normal right behind him. Nose level so we can accelerate. Watch the speed coming up for 100. Coming on 20, coming on 30 kilometers per hour. 450, that's pretty good speed. Let's give it a, a boost of power there with web. Accelerate to almost 470. Come back to combat power or military power. Turning left is defensive. Wait a bit, get on his trail. Gonna go under him. One of the tactics the Rupa faces is that for the IA2 they they would fly under them and then fire on their bellies where they have their oil tanks. So we might try that right now, but try and fire with his belly. He did. Like, like I was saying, the more the most the best thing you can do is just get super close and fire with all you got. I didn't like that, I didn't like that. So I'm gonna pull up, chop the throttle, take the roll, stay on six. Again, a line for a good shot. A line for a good shot. Go, go. There you go, pieces coming out. More pieces coming off. I see a left elevator, left elevator. Oh yeah, he's there. He's down. Is that our fifth kill? Ace in a day. Ace in a day with one cartridge. Yes. There he goes. Yeah. All right. So I think that's it. We're almost out of ammo. I mean, we have a little more ammo left. But I think five kills is more than enough. Um, so that's it guys I hope you enjoy the video and uh, I'll see you guys in another in another video